Okay, so as promised, I wanted to make a video going through each part and piece that we use through this whole process of uh, dialing in the Corvette from start to finish. Uh, so of course the last, last project, or last part of the project was to, we cleaned the wheels, so we'll talk about the wheels here in a minute, and then uh, we did the decontamination. So I wanna show you each product and talk to you about it, you know, how much we used and how much I think you'll want uh, in your cabinet so that way you can kind of think through this and have you know, the right equipment to do the job uh, and then you can always go to the store I, forgive me the pricing on all the stuff changes periodically so I haven't memorized it all I used to know it but uh, I guess it's, uh, it's leaving me as, the, as the, the process becomes more and more sophisticated so let's start with the wheels so on the wheels um, we started with uh, Brake Buster, right? And we put it in a, in a PF22 foam cannon. Uh, so the foam cannon was this original version. I'm just open it up here so you can see it. So this is the foam cannon we used. The way that, we, the way that I ship this, you know, so it comes with it comes with this junk, and we, we toss those out, and I put a stainless steel um, uh, plug on the end of it. Uh, so it comes with this, uh, or we, we send it with the proper plug with a 1.25 millimeter orifice on it. If you have a, a lesser pressure washer, we also sell it with, uh, with a 1.1 millimeter. So uh, depending on your pressure washer, you can always go to the store, and we have it set up where everything is... Um, Pretty self-explanatory if you have a Karcher or a Sunjo. Stop buying these frickin' pressure washers that are not on the list. I've literally got 90 of them on the website. Stop buying this other garbage. Just to return it, stop with this Portland and Amazon bull crap. There's no reason for that. There's 80 of them. Just stick with that. So, so we have it all sourced and figured out exactly what fittings, exactly what nozzles, exactly what orifices. So just, I'm telling you, don't save yourself the pain of, uh, of spending two times what you spent on the pressure washer to try to get it set up. Just don't do that. We'll see, we, we've already saved you all the pain. One of the inherent problems with the PF22 is it doesn't stand up. And so the PF22.2, I'm showing you this now, I talked about it a little, uh, for a second in the video, but this is like number one. Uh, this is, the, uh, this is the, the finalized, this isn't a prototype, this is the finalized production model. And so they've changed the bottle. The head is still identical, but they've changed the bottle. There's a straw that goes in here too. So I haven't, I haven't tested this yet. You're looking at it for the first time. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's weighted to where it stands up. So, hmm. There's a little bit of concave, external concave here. So. But yeah, that's certainly a better version. I wonder. Uh, I wonder how this is going to hold up long term. There's only one way to find out. We'll just have to use it. So this is the MTM solution to the new uh, 22.2. We'll have uh, several thousand of these bottles, so I'll have these available for all of us who have the uh, have the, the the original the PF22 version. So I think the bottles are like 15 bucks or something like that. So you'll be able to buy these. And then we'll also have uh, have the full kits as well. I think these will be doing, you know, by the time you're watching this video, maybe a few weeks afterward. And I think the pricing is pretty similar. You know, it's somewhere around 90 bucks, something like that. So anyway, we I have the way I have it set up in the garage or in the wash bay is that I have two of these, two of the original foam cannons. So I have one set up with the wheel cleaner that you saw me mix up. And so uh, I think it's important you have a 32 ounce bottle of uh, Brake Buster on your bucket. And then of course I had the press all version, the press all bottle set up. And then you have a, a gallon, you know, so the gallon I'm using to refill my foam cannon and to refill my 32 ounce. This stuff is dirt cheap and compared to other wheel cleaners. So, I mean, I wouldn't get too, uh, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, diluting it too much. Uh, I put it in, diluted in the foam can just because I feel like it foams a little bit better being slightly diluted. Uh, and then the, the various tools we used, uh, we started with the uh, Microfiber Madness Incredibrush. So we used the Incredibrush on this. 
which I love this thing. You would think that this thing would not last very long, but I literally, the one you saw me use is my original one. This is the flat version, so it's a little bit flatter than the round version. It's the only one I, I carry. Uh, but you would think that this wouldn't last very long. I mean, I've literally never washed it. I just kind of rinse it out when I'm done. Uh, I also cut this little plastic thing off, but you know, it's up, that's up to you. Uh, but this is the best 60 bucks I've ever spent in that this thing lasts forever, works great, doesn't scratch the wheel. It's just freaking awesome. So I would, I would highly recommend this. You know, if you're going to get one thing to clean your wheels, uh, this thing works incredibly well. But you also noticed me use the large easy detail for, you're not going to use that on your fender wells. You're also not going to use that on the, um, behind the, the calipers on, you know, some of the higher performance cars like the Z06. Actually, none of my cars it won't fit behind because it's really razor thin, but the easy detail will fit behind most of it. Uh, so uh, I didn't use the small brush at all on this car, so we'll call it, uh, we'll call it that we didn't need it. Uh, so I guess it's not absolutely necessary, but I, I do have a small one in the bucket as well. Uh, but this little sucker does really well for, for all the tighter areas as well as the, jam, the wheel wells and the, uh, and the exhaust tips I used it on. Uh, then we're using the same, uh, same Brake Buster product on the tires. Uh, as well as you know, cleaning the face of the wheels with this is uh, Flexi Pads uh, lambskin mitt. These things are amazing for ten bucks. Uh, it's I use this more than pretty much anything else on the wheels. Uh, Five dollar tough tough shine brush. Using this in combination with some straight up um, uh, brake buster. So the my the way I do this here is by the time so I foamed the whole wheel entire. So by the time I finished it um the uh or the wheel then the tires you know most of it's kind of dissolved uh, so i just spray a little bit extra on just to, to you know, get some you know and agitate it just to get some re-foaming if you will and then that seems to work really well i like this on the tires i don't like things that are super aggressive for tires that's why i liked adam's rubber and tire cleaner so much it wasn't uh it wasn't as aggressive as some other heavy duty tire cleaners i don't want to strip off all the work i did to create a base layer of carpro pearl uh, so i don't want to mess that up if i can help it and then we put all this stuff in a bucket you could buy this bucket individually if you wanted to um, but uh, this is part of the, the the greater bucket package so since we're down here let's talk about this so the lids i mainly have the lids because i like the rim you know it makes it look complete uh, so having the gamma seal lids is not a necessity uh, but it's something that uh, is nice to have a lot of times i'll grab one of the buckets if i'm traveling somewhere it's nice to be able to throw all my towels and O and R and things like that in it. Um, so the lids usually sit in the cabinet. Uh, so I mainly have it for the Gamma Seal because it looks complete. Um, but and yeah, I know this is a 300 bucks worth of buckets. But what you're paying for each one of the dollies with casters and then the, uh, the stops or the the stays, I guess they are. Uh, I think these are what. Uh, 50 54 bucks a piece something like that retail and you know what i pay 35 40 percent less than that because i buy truckloads full of them uh and so that's the main expense of doing three buckets you know for 295 bucks you know um uh you know 165 dollars of it is just these and then the buckets are another couple of bucks and you have the grit guards and then you have the gamma seals and then you have you know a little bit of profit in it for me uh, and so uh, the bucket package i get is expensive but i've yet to had anybody call me and say you know oh, man this is a this is junk it wasn't any good uh, so we use these throughout the whole project the wheels for the wheel bucket and you also notice i just keep the tools in here uh, and uh, and so you know it's up to you how you want to store your tools. You could be uh, create some more sophisticated version. I probably will at some point create some sort of organization system for this uh, in the future. Uh, people email me that all the time that they want something specific. But um, we oh, I also have the vinyl the vinyl on here. This is a car grade or the same vinyl you do going to use if you were going to wrap your car. It's that 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 same you know higher end thicker vinyl. Uh, so bucket package is one of my favorite tools in the arsenal. The, the three inch casters also make it roll a little bit better. And then, you know, again, I, I don't, I don't send it like this, but I cut holes in it because I've used this for testing and things like that. So these have been beat up quite a bit. 
The other tool we used uh, in the process was a bucket filler. This is the one you saw there. Uh, you'll crap your pants if you click on the link in the description for this. Uh, and we had the ultimate hose nozzle on that as, for, as seen on TV thing that people are giving me a hard time about, but I don't give a crap because it's good and I like it. And so this is uh, what a couple hundred bucks of T316 stainless ultra flexible you know most metal hose is not particularly flexible i also have a, a rubber version of this so we use this in, on the project as well so now on to decon uh, the decon stuff uh, i'm not showing you the whole package here but I, the simplest thing to do would just be just go click the button and buy the decon package it's like 300 bucks or something like that and takes care of everything you need you probably only need i mean we used let's say 200 and 250 milliliters of this. Um, so if you bought a 32 ounce bottle, you could easily do four or probably five cars with this if you use an excess amount of soap like I did. Um, but uh, decon soap is what I talk about in the video. This was an old version or this is a, a, a different uh, color, but same stuff as the uh, tunnel wash, uh, the uh, chemical guy citrus red from back in the day. I just had a company reproduce it and it you know, works really well in a black, it comes in a black CarPro bottle. Uh, I buy CarPro bottles in bulk and Avi let me buy those, Corey from CarPro let me buy those. Uh, and so we put it in there with a really cool looking obsessed garage label. So 32 ounce, I mean, I like to have gallon refills. I like to keep my 32 ounces topped off. Uh, so I mean, for what is it, 40 bucks or 45 bucks or something like that, um, to have an extra gallon um, behind you makes sense. The only issue is, I mean, unless you're deconning cars every day, um, you're gonna, if you buy a gallon, I mean, if we're doing five cars per 32 ounce, you know, we're going to do 20 cars, so you have 25 cars worth of decontamination. You shouldn't be deconning all the time. Uh, you can use this on a coated car, like I use it on the uh, on the C Quartz coated uh, Raptor all the time because I let it get too far and too dirty, so it helps to clean it up a little bit. The other product we used was an iron remover, uh, and I th actually think in the in the uh, video we used the leftover or the rest of the uh, CarPro uh, Iron X, uh, and uh, but. I've switched to doing Optimum Ferrex uh, because um, um, it's easier to get, you know, and of course we're out of stock of it, but um, Optimum Ferrex, Optimum's here in the U.S., they're made, it's made in Memphis, Tennessee, um, so Dr. G and the guy from Optimum, they, um, they, they make this stuff. This spray bottle is not very good, so I put it in a, in a, in a Pressol bottle. The Pressol bottles that you saw are still in development, uh, so they should be available. The, the blue and the translucent one should be available here coming up shortly. So we did Ferex. Oh, I forgot. We also use the single microfiber madness uh, in credit pad. I like to have, I think I have five of these in my cabinet. Uh, the reason is I don't, you know, a lot of times I don't wash my towels after every use or every time I dry or do something or wash the car. Uh, and so I like to have a extra pad so that I don't have to go and rush to wash a pad because I wash it after every use in the washer and then dry it. Uh, wash it heavy duty cold with micro restore but uh which is also you know which is also in the in the microfiber section of uh, og.com obsessgarage.com uh but uh, dry it on delicate uh, and it i find that drying it kind of fluffs it up and shakes out all the sand and dirt that, that maybe didn't come out in the wash cycle so soap decontamination or prep then iron removal. This we just sprayed on and I grabbed like a, just any old crappy microfiber towel. You could also put, uh, my friend Billy from Presidential puts uh, uh, rubber uh, gloves on, nitro gloves on, and just walks around and just kind of with his hands, just kind of agitates it, makes sure it gets all over the car. I don't think either one of those is necessary, but if you wanted to ensure you got good even coverage, you could walk around and wipe it in. And then the last step was the step where we did nanoskin glide. I talked about this in the video. I don't like the mitt. I feel like I'm leaning in too much. And I know a lot of people like that because it's quicker and simpler. Um, I prefer to have the, the hand strap with the, with the uh, six inch foam pad. And you can see these have like a, like a, like a rubber hexagon. I don't find the need for any of the more aggressive versions. 
of these, just use the fine version. I mean, even if you had a pretty heavy contaminated car, this will do the job. So there's no reason to scratch up your car, I think, if you can help it. Even though we're gonna correct it, I'd rather not scratch it up if I can help. Uh, and so the fine version, I'm using this on the bulk, large section of the car. And then you saw me use the sponge on the smaller sections of the car. You could do the whole car with this. I mean, I think this thing is like, this combination is like 60 something dollars, or this is 12 bucks. So, you know, if you're trying to be cost conscious here, uh, then you could, you could save this for uh, your Christmas present next year or something like that. Uh, but I like having both. Um, they also have the towels and they have the, again, like I said, the hand mitt. I don't like any of those. I've ha I had them all and punted them all. The towel is too floppy for me. Um, I like these two. That's just my preference, but that, that's a preference. And we're doing it with Glide. Uh, this is a 16 ounce bottle. It dilutes seven to one. So take this bottle and multiply it by seven, basically. So let's say six if you, you know, overestimated it a few times. Uh, and so you're gonna, you know, you're gonna take this 32 hour, 16 ounce version and do probably two cars, maybe three, eh, probably three to four cars with a single 16 ounce bottle. So I only did one dilution and one bottle full of, um, full of Glide. I think I grabbed the second bottle. So I did about, uh, about a thousand, yeah, about a, about a liter. Uh, and so we probably need, and yeah, you probably need, let's say half a bottle or, or a little more than a quarter of a bottle of this to do a car. So I think it's a good idea to have, I also sell these in gallons. Uh, unless you're doing a lot of cars, you probably just stick with the 16 ounce bottles, get a couple of them. Uh, the decon package I think comes with two of them. Uh, so those, those are what we use to, to do the, those three products are what we use to do, I guess technically four, to do the, the, the mechanical decontamination part, the claying or the auto scrubbing. And then I dried the car and I did the whole car with one large, this is really one of the few times I used this towel, but uh, we don't want to use a drying aid. So I used the white uh, waffle weave. This is from the rag company. It's massive. I think it's 59 inches. It's like 30 by 59 or something like that. It's a giant towel. Uh, but I used this for drying off uh, and then kind of followed with this to grab the rest of it. Uh, so this is the uh, this is a twist loop towel, uh, single single pile. So the pile is the same on both sides, and this is not a sewn together towel. A lot of these, they you know for whatever reason they've been marketed as you know you need the biggest heaviest plushest towel ever. You could dry a whole freaking soaked car with like two of these things. So there's no reason to have a, a towel that weighs two pounds. Uh, and so I don't like it when they take, which is basically all the companies that they do is they take two of these and they sew them together. Uh, and then you have a double thickness towel. This is like 500 GSM. It's more than what you need. Uh, and so like the Grios PFM towel and the uh, silk dryer from, um, from G, uh, Gion. And I think, I think Gion was probably the first Either them or Grios were the first to bring twist loops to the U.S., uh, but they uh, and bring them kind of into light. They're, they're great towels. Uh, I never really liked the big heavy ones. They didn't feel like they were soft enough, and they're too darn heavy. Uh, but now with this version, I made it orange just because we're using bead maker a lot, and that's orange. Uh, but the, the, those those towels, having uh, I think you want to have 20, at least 20 of them in your cabinet. I use them for more, more and more. Uh, for all things drying, door jams, everything like that. So that's the initial product allotment. So we have three, six, you know, we have, you know, 900 bucks worth of stuff if you buy all the packages and all the stuff. Actually, a little bit more than that if you buy the bucket filler and the foam cannons. So, you know, we're talking a thousand bucks worth of stuff if you do it right. If you do it, well, let's say if you do it my way, and not, not and whether that's right or wrong is debatable. But if you want to do it the same way that I do it, again, you could do things like don't buy the gallons, just buy the 32 ounces. Obviously, don't buy the T316 bucket filler. Go get some buckets from Home Depot. So there's, there's some ways to cut costs. So you could really do this process of wheel cleaning and decontamination for, you know, a couple hundred bucks if you really wanted to do it my way, sift through what I'm telling you here and go with just the simplest version of it. Um, and, and maybe you don't pick up luxuries like a, like a $20, you know, brush to clean the lugs uh, and stick with the $5 stuff, the less expensive stuff. So it doesn't have to be expensive. 
I'm chasing convenience and the experience. You know, when I do this, it's a big event for me. You know, this is going to take days and days of work. Uh, and so when I'm doing this process, uh, I want nice buckets. I want a quality uh, pressure washer. Of course, that's a whole nother video. I didn't talk about the pressure washer. But I like to use quality products and I like to put it in a nice bottle and I like a nice wash pad. Uh, and I think that many of you do too and you're willing to pursue this. Uh, and so this, again, this isn't about cheap or expensive or elitist or poor or rich or any of that stuff. It's about chasing a, a, an experience of, um, of, of using quality products. If I were going to detail professionally, I would buy things like this and I would pass the cost off on to the person that's paying me to do it. And I would use that as a, as a discussion point uh, that I'm using what I believe to be great products. I, I believe them to be really, really good and I'm paying a premium for them uh, and I'm hopefully providing you a premium service. Uh, and so I'm doing this for me on my car. I was using a lot of this stuff before I've made videos. Uh, and of course it's evolved and I'll continue to evolve this, but uh, I thought I should mention that, that this, this stuff, again, none of it is necessary. You could get a clay bar and call it a day. Uh, but uh, I like using things like an Animascan Auto Scrub pad, six inch pad, because it, it makes it less of a chore and more of an experience for me. And that's, that's what I'm pursuing. So next episode will be prepping the car for polish. We're gonna talk about a couple of different types of tape. Uh, and so that will probably be one video. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna tape off the car, prepare the car. I actually ordered a windshield like I talked about. So Safe Light will be here on Thursday to give me a new windshield. So I have to get it retinted. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, the process will continue. Uh, do a little bit each day. Uh, I'm gonna do the whole car myself uh, instead of uh, having a whole team of do it like the last few cars I've done. Uh, and we're gonna capture video of the whole process. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, go to obsessedgarage.com. The point of that website, uh, the reason it's evolved into what it's evolved into is because uh, people have you know, beaten my doors down. I should have done this years ago. Um, but I finally realized and started listening to what people want uh, and they want a solution. And so I'm providing that with picking and choosing products from all over the place uh, and then, which is a whole lot more work, but then that provides us a solution. It's my process and you can choose to adopt it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Next episode, taping. Mm -hmm.